Hi, welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. I'm finally at home today and I have got the quickest project ever for you. Uh, it's going to be another one in my Sew to Sell series. I'm going to go to the shop tomorrow and make up a whole stash of them. Today we're going to be making credit card holders. So this is a really handy little pouch that will hold a minimum of four cards. Uh, if you want to modify it, you could easily modify it as well to hold lots more. But today I'm going to show you how to make this really, really quick credit card holder. And we've only got two rows of stitches for the entire project. We've got a bit of folding, a bit of cutting and a bit of ironing. Two rows of stitches. Stick around. All right, what we need is one piece of elastic that is four and a half inches long. So I'm using a high density elastic, not something that's too soft and floppy. So a four and a half inch long piece of elastic. Then I've got two main pieces of fabric, which is four and a half inches by seven and a quarter inches in length. And what I want to do with that is line one piece only with a bit of interfacing. And I'm just using a lightweight or light to medium weight dressmakers interfacing it's cotton um, one piece of interfacing seven and a quarter inches by four and a half inches and I've attached that to the back of one of the pieces and the other one doesn't have anything on it then we want two pieces of fabric that are four and a half inches by four and a half inch square and we want some interfacing on half of that so what our plan is is to fold this in half and we'll have some stabilizer on the inside this will just give us a bit of extra body for our card holders so we've got two four and a half inch pieces of fabric by four and a half inches and the interfacing that we want on that is four and a half inches across by two and a quarter inches down so we just want half of the measurement we'll fold our fabric in half put the interfacing inside and we'll iron that together we'll do that on those two pieces and then our last two pieces we need are four and a half inches by six inches of fabric. We need two of those. And again, we're going to fold these in half and we're going to have some stabilizer on the inside. So that is four and a half inches wide by three inches high. Fold that in half and press that together. Once you've pressed everything, we can quickly go and assemble this little pocket all in one go. It's such a simple project. Take your main piece of fabric, the one that hasn't been stabilised. We'll place that face up on the table. Then we'll take our six inch by four and a half inch stabilised piece of fabric. And we've got the folded edge on this side and the raw edges facing out. Place that over the top of your fabric there. Do the same with the other six inch by four and a half inch piece of fabric. And then we will take our shorter ones. This is the four and a half inch by four and a half inch piece. And that will just be placed over the top of the other one. So we've got our raw edges here. We've got a folded edge and a folded edge there. And we'll place this one over the other side. And we've got our fold on this side and a fold over here with our raw edges along here. I'm placing my labels on the inside of this particular pouch today rather than having it on the outside. The reason for that is that it's such a small project. I don't want it to be too in your face when you've got your wallet closed. If I go and have my label on the front here, I just think it's a little bit too much. This time I'm going to put my advertising tag on the inside of my little pouches. Take your piece of elastic and place that about one and a half inches from the edge. And then we can take our main piece of fabric again, the one that's got the stabilizer on it, and we're going to place that over the top and sandwich all the layers together. And then what we're going to do, clip or pin it down. I've clipped this closed from here all the way around, and we're going to do a back stitch here, stitch around, back stitch there, and we'll leave this section open. So we only need to leave an opening of about, oh, probably about two inches just in there and we'll use that to turn through. Now we're going to take this to the machine and do the first of only two rows of stitches for the entire project. I'm doing a quarter inch seam allowance. I'll back stitch here, stitch to the end. I do like to reinforce my stitches at the corners.
okay that one's finished so I've just got an opening in there for turning through all I need to do now is clip the corners and then we can turn the bag through the right way around once you've turned this the right way around and you've got your corners all poked out nicely take it to the iron and give this a really good press just make sure you don't iron over the elastic you can turn the elastic to the back and just iron your pockets down and then turn it back to the front again to iron the other side so you don't want to iron your elastic it may melt now we need to go and top stitch the entire wallet except for the elastic and we want to close up this little opening here as well we've got our opening just here we'll start sewing just near the near the elastic here just do a nice narrow top stitch just about an eighth of an inch all the way around remember to keep the elastic out of the way as you're sewing and come back and back stitch and finish off and that's it I'll just move my elastic out of the way here and I'm going to start sewing just underneath where the elastic is and that will actually hide the beginning and ending seams of my stitches when I get to the elastic on the other side I'm just going to push that out of the way there And when I get back to the beginning, just a back stitch. And there's our pouch completely finished. And there we have a really sturdy little credit card holder. So just open up the elastic there. We've got enough slots to fit four cards, and you could probably fit them two or three deep. There's plenty of room to fit the cards that we need, and plenty of room to close the little wallet as well and the elastic keeps it nice and secure. These are such an incredibly quick little project to make. I hope you've enjoyed that little video. It wasn't that quick. As I said, there was just two rows of stitches for the entire bag or for the entire pouch. Uh, just this row of stitching to put it together and then another row of stitching for top stitching. This is such a quick little project to do. Uh, I'm going to go to the shop tomorrow and make up a whole batch of them. I'm just going to go through all my scrap fabrics and see whatever I've got in four and a half inch strips and sew up a storm. So these are pretty handy. They'll hold, as I said, at least four credit cards in there, your driver's license, your visas, you know, all that sort of stuff. And I've put my label on the inside rather than the outside because I do think that for such a little project uh, having the label on the inside is a little bit better um, for these particular wallets. So I'm going to go and sew a whole bunch more tomorrow and hopefully when I do my next quarterly report I'll have some good sales to report back to you all on these little wallets. What do you think of them? Catch you next time!